A question that I'm commonly asked is how do I potty train my dog? And it's much easier than you may think if you follow these proven steps. Step number one, you're going to have to crate train your dog. Now crate training a dog is not just about getting a dog comfortable in a crate, but rather using it as a tool to teach the dog what behaviors are acceptable inside the house and what behaviors are not acceptable inside the house. When we crate train our dogs, we do want to keep in mind predictability and pattern recognition. Often, people will create anxiety in their dogs by placing their dog in the crate only when they leave the house. And if you do that, your dog is going to start to learn and recognize this pattern. And when you put them in the crate, they are going to become anxious and stressed out. With that being said, you want to put your dog in and out of the crate randomly throughout the day, even when you're at the house. So you don't create that anxiety through that recognized pattern that your dog will certainly pick up. Next, you wanna make sure that the crate is just big enough for the dog to stand up, turn around, and lay down. The reason for this is dogs do not like to go to the bathroom where they eat or where they sleep. When I'm potty training a dog, I teach the dog that I'm going to feed them, whether I'm giving them a bone or an actual meal inside their crate, and that's where they're going to sleep in the beginning. We do this because it teaches the dogs to hold their bladder. Now, a simple rule of thumb to follow when it comes to keeping a dog in a crate or puppy in a crate for a certain period of time. If the puppy is three months of age, I do not keep them in the crate for longer than three hours. Yes, that means you have to get up at night to potty your puppy. If they are four months of age, four hours, five months, five hours, up until eight months of age, and I do not like to exceed eight hours of a dog being in a crate. And that's going to be at night when you're sleeping if you still have to crate your dog at night. Lastly, when your dog is fully potty trained, the crate can be as big as you like. In fact, the crate could be as big as your house, meaning you no longer need a crate. It is just there in the beginning to teach the dog how to hold their bladder. Now, once we have the dog comfortable going in and out of the crate, then the next thing you're going to want to do is show the dog or the puppy exactly where you would like them to go to the bathroom. And this is the process you're going to want to follow. What you're going to do is you're going to take your puppy or your dog out of the crate and you're going to put them on a leash and then you're going to take them outside exactly where you would like them to go to the bathroom. You're going to say if you would like a command to go to the bathroom such as go potty or do your business then you're going to set the puppy down or you're going to give your dog an opportunity to go to the bathroom. You wait three minutes. If your dog or puppy goes to the bathroom within those three minutes you praise them, you let them know great work and then you do something that the dog enjoys. Again, this goes back to pattern recognition. If you take your puppy or your dog outside to go to the bathroom, and the moment they go to the bathroom, you take them inside, then they learn when they go to the bathroom, they go inside. So they will hold it when they're outside, and this is when you have a dog that stays outside for a long time because it knows once it goes to the bathroom, you're going to take them inside. So in order to make sure you don't make this mistake, when they go to the bathroom, you do something that the puppy or the dog enjoys, such as playing fetch, taking the dog on a walk, whatever it is that that dog enjoys, that's what you're going to do. And it doesn't have to be for a long time. Five minutes will be just fine. Then you take the puppy back inside or the dog and now they can run around and play inside the house as long as you have eyes on. Now, if the dog does not go to the bathroom within those three minutes, if it's a puppy, you pick them up, you walk them back inside, you place them back in the crate. If it's a dog, you simply walk them in and you put them in the crate. And you wait 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you repeat the process. If they go to the bathroom, you go back to what I said earlier. If they do not, you take them back inside, you put them in the crate, and you repeat the process until they go to the bathroom. This is going to show them, first of all, a command, go to the bathroom or go potty, and it's gonna teach them the faster they go to the bathroom, the faster they get to have fun and play outside, and it's going to speed up the process. Now what we wanna do is we wanna set the dog up for failure. I set dogs up for success so I can reward them the exact moment they're doing it correctly, but I also set them up for failure so I can correct them the exact moment they make the mistake and I can show them exactly what it is that I would like them to do. Every time I potty trained a dog, my own personal dogs or other people's dogs, they go inside the house one time. And the reason for this is because I set them up to fail. The way that I do that in the morning when I know they have to go to the bathroom, I take them out of the crate and I set them somewhere where it's going to be an easy cleanup, some sort of hard surface. And I wait till they go to the bathroom inside the house. The moment they go to the bathroom, I say one no and I take the dog outside. Once the dog goes to the bathroom outside, 
I praise, I reward them, and then we go back into our normal routine. Doing this is going to clearly show your dog that you do not want them going to the bathroom inside the house. And your dog will quickly learn that the best place to go to the bathroom is going to be outside. If you do this correctly, you will quickly find out that potty training your dog is much easier than you ever thought. And it's really not a secret. You just follow the process and you'll get the results. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about dog training, send me a message and I'll be sure to make a video on that subject. All right, thanks again for watching guys. Click that like button too. And I'll see you on the next video.